Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I sell digital file bundles on Etsy using my designs. So let's dive right in. So I've got 10 images here that are all Halloween themed that I generated using Mid Journey ahead of time. I've also upscaled them to save time on the video. So what we want to do with these images is upload them into my designs. So we can do that by clicking this upload button here. And what we want to do is make sure that we only upload one image right now, not the entirety of them. And I'll show you why. So we'll go ahead and click upload all and that'll take just a second. And now that that's done, because we're selling these as a digital bundle, we want all of these files that we're selling to be on this one listing. We don't want 10 separate listings. So I'm going to drag and drop each file into these empty file slots. And you can just do that like how I just did. In fact, I can drag this over here to show you what I'm talking about so you can see it a little better. So we'll select that and then we'll go back to our um, folder here and we'll just drag and drop the next one. And I'm gonna fast forward the video to save time so you don't have to see me doing that one by one. All right, now that those images are done, or I'm done uploading those images, I do want to point out that these are already perfectly set up for tumblers to be sold on uh, straight tumblers. Uh, we're just selling them as digital files, but when someone gets these uh, files, they want them to be the correct aspect ratio and the correct dimensions. So these are already perfectly set up. What I want to do now is go ahead and generate some mockups for this listing. Um, we're not going to be able to generate mockups for every single listing, but I do want to show you one I created ahead of time. And I'm going to go ahead and drag it, drag and drop it into this mockup one file. And then I'll show you what that looks like. And I'll just go ahead and pull it up here. This is what the full version of it looks like. So I created this. It's just showing all 10 of my files. And then it says 10 Halloween straight Tumblr wraps instant download. Um, but I do also want to create some mockups for these images actually on tumblers, not just showing them like that. So what I'm going to do is go back into mockups here, go to image mockups, and then we're going to go to drinkware. And I'll just do a couple of these different ones. Let's turn on multiple mockups here. Uh, let's do this for one of them and we'll use this file and we'll save it to mockup two. And also we can leave that as a JPEG. And then we'll go ahead and select another mockup we want to do. Maybe we'll do this one right here and we'll select a different file this time. Then we'll do this one as well and we'll select uh, another file and maybe we'll do one more. Let's go ahead and select this one and then we'll select this fourth file. So now that we've got four mockups, we'll go ahead and just click generate mockups and that will take just a moment and then we'll hop back into the video. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the view here so we can see it um, in a little um, larger image. And then I'll double click these. Well, just click and double click and it would be if we were working on multiple listings. As you can see, that's kind of a glossy looking one. That one is as well. And then a couple of different options. And now that that's done, um, let's go ahead and input our data. That's our next step and final step here. And then this is ready to upload to our Etsy shop. So I actually generated some data ahead of time. Once again, just to save time on the video. So I'm going to go ahead and copy paste what I have here. And just like that, we've got our data filled out and we'll jump into the publishing process. Now, before I publish these, I actually need to put a price and a quantity on them. So what I'll do is jump over to this data set that I have named inventory and pricing. And let's say we wanted to sell this entire bundle for $5.99. So we'll just input the price there. Quantity, I always put it $999. Um, in my opinion, there's no reason not to. So I'll go ahead and click save now. And now that we've got all of our data done, we'll go ahead and click publish here in the top right corner. We're selling digital files, so we don't want to click products. We want to select digital. And then what we're going to do here is select files to sell. And we'll just select all 10 of our files that we want our customer to receive. And what my designs is going to do is that it's going to zip this for you when it uploads to your Etsy shop. So now we'll go ahead and click next step. This is already mapped where we want it. 
And now we want to select our mockups here. So we had put this mockup in, we'll unselect that as that's a file, and then we'll select the next mockups. As you can see, this one here says primary underneath it. That is the one that shows all of our images and we want that to be our primary mockup. So then we can go ahead and click next step. And you'll see here, this is where we map our data and it should already be mapped perfectly for us as you can see it is. And then we would just click next step and we would click publish. So a lot of people zip their files ahead of time and they don't like to do it this way where I just select all 10 of them during the publishing process. So if you would prefer to just zip them ahead of time, I'll show you how to do that. So this is our 10 files. We would just go ahead and select them all. We would right click here and we would come down to send to and we would click compressed zip folder. So you'll see that's going to take just a second to do. And it's put a name on it as well. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just rename it to straight or Halloween straight Tumblr wraps. So now we'll go ahead and take this. I have an empty file slot here that I've named zip file. So we'll click that and then I'll go ahead and drag and drop the zip file into that empty file slot. And that'll take just a minute and then we'll go through the publishing process again. Now that it's done, you'll see that it just shows a zip folder like that, but this contains all 10 of these designs. So now if we would prefer to sell it like this, all we do is go to publish, digital, select files to sell. This time we're just going to select the zip file and we're going to deselect that one. And that's all we need to do here. Then we'll go to next step. That's all mapped correct again. And then we'll just select our mockups again. And we'll go ahead and click next step. Make sure that our data is mapped correctly and you'll see that this is how our Etsy listing would look. This is our primary mockup showing all 10 of our designs. And then here's a, a couple of our other designs actually shown on tumblers. So now we'll click next step and then you'll select your shop here and then it gives you one last preview of what your listing looks like. And then we just click publish and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll jump over to our Etsy shop and show you what it looks like there. So now I'm at our Etsy shop here and I do want to point out anything you post on Etsy through my designs will always go to your draft folder. So if we click here, you'll go ahead and see our listing right here. And I'll click into this just to show you what it looks like. You'll see our data looks perfect. Our mock-up looks great. And then here are our additional mock-ups shown on actual tumblers. And here is the PDF. And you can actually download this right here to double check and see if it has all of your files in it. This is what your customer receives. And that is how you post digital file bundles um, on Etsy using my designs.